Uh, what has been the main message from political parties to the electorate? Well, there's two very clear messages. And I must say that the, the messages and the feeling here in Athens is very different to the, uh, the, the feeling which was around in January when Alexis Tsipras and his Sarita party were swept into power uh, on the promise of uh, cutting the austerity measures and reforming the relationship with the EU. That message uh, clearly is not central now because Alexis Tsipras failed to do that. And uh, we've seen in the last month um, him sort of fall from grace uh, in terms of what he has delivered. Um, and that is the opinion of many Greeks here who say that they are disappointed with the Syriza-led government, uh, that the bailout deal uh, in the end was worse than what was originally offered uh, uh, when it comes to terms and conditions. Uh, Alexis Tsipras's main rival uh, is the New Democracy Party. They're pretty much neck and neck. Uh, a poll which was released last night put Syriza uh, gaining 26.2% of the vote and New Democracy on 25.1%. Uh, so only a percentage point uh, in it. Um, uh, neither of those percentages are enough to govern a majority. Uh, so the message is coming from New Democracy is, look, vote for us. I'm a stable pair of hands. Um, this is Vangelis Miramakis, the leader of New Democracy. I'm a stable pair of hands. Uh, I'll get things back on, uh, on track and promise jobs. But Syriza, Alexis Tsipras, the former prime minister, who, of course, is seeking re-election, uh, is saying uh, that he will continue uh, the job which he has set out to do, saying that although they agree to the bailout, it's far better than what was being offered originally. Now then, the migrant and refugee crisis in Europe is right on Greece's uh, doorstep. Has this been a major issue in the campaigns? Yes, uh, I would say uh, that it has been. And one of the most uh, prominent um, factors in that, and, and one of the parties which has really risen, uh, rather worrying, is um, the far right-wing uh, party, Golden Dawn. Uh, a neo-Nazi party, uh, anti-immigrant stance. Now, they are predicted to gain more than 5% of, of the share of the vote uh, and come third behind either Syriza or New Democracy. Um, and there are many people uh, who uh, are, are voting to the extreme, as what happens when there is not uh, clarity in a vote and there are concerns about uh, who to vote for, uh, far, far right or less extremist parties often um, do well. I was speaking to a couple of voters this morning um, who are, are relatively disillusioned, like many, with uh, politics in Greece, but they say they will be voting purely to prevent uh, Golden Dawn um, getting any more votes than they can. Uh, and the, the immigrant situation, the refugee crisis and the migrant situation has certainly um, lended some support uh, to that far right wing party. Now, uh, several polls there, uh, Dan, are giving the left wing uh, Syriza uh, party just a, a narrow lead. So, are we really heading for a coalition government? Almost certainly. If the polls are correct uh, and Syriza are one or two percentage points above new democracy, then Alexis Tsipras will be given first dibs at trying to form a coalition. They need to get around 36 to 40 percent. Uh, to be able to govern themselves. That is unlikely, not impossible, but unlikely given uh, the current polling, um, uh, which, in which case Alexis Tsipras will be faced with um, forming another coalition. But that is complicated mm -hmm. because Alexis Tsipras has said he's not too keen on joining up with his main rival, New Democracy, in some sort of grand coalition and doesn't really want to join up with the other pro-European parties, such as Patok and Tobitami. New Democracy, on the other hand, has said that it is willing to join up with Syriza uh, and those other parties. If Syriza and Alexis Tsipras win tomorrow in the election, what he really wants is to join up again with the current coalition partners, the independent Greeks. The problem with that is, is the independent Greeks are not expected to get the 3%, which is the minimum percentage required for any party to uh, be able to become part of the parliament. So, so, so Syriza and Alexis Tsipras may well be forced to join with some of the other parties, the pro-EU parties, uh, the Army and PASOK, uh, in order to form a government and get up to that required percentage point of 40%. Well, thank you so much, Dan. That was our correspondent there, Dan Whitehead, speaking to us uh, live from Athens in Greece.